how often does this happen to you? I'm working from home and I've just finished my day's tasks. Hmm, what shall I do? I think I'll go for a walk and enjoy nature. Ha, <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Two hours later. Ah, that was a fantastic walk in nature! Let me just check my email real quick and take my code off. There we are. What? Hang on a minute. No. What does that email mean? Right, you not being at your desk, sunshine. That means that you've not been working. In my boomer eyes, you're not at your desk. Means you're not working. I don't care what you say about finishing all your work. I need you in your chair for eight hours a day. I don't care if you produce more work than everyone else. What I care about is how long you're at your desk. Last chance! See me. It happens to me too often. So instead of wasting away on my desk for hours on end, I decided to do something about it. I was going to make a tool to make it look like I was working. That way, I can leave my desk and do whatever I want. Let's get to it. So to do this, we're going to be using software called Pi Auto GUI. It allows you to control your keyboard and mouse using Python. We're using Python for this type of automation because Python can be run on all operating systems with ease, unlike XDoTool, which requires some wrangling to get it to be run on other operating systems, whereas Python is very easy. And we also get access to the whole Python ecosystem in case we ever want to improve our program, which we might do. First step, install Pi Auto GUI from pip. Very easy. You know how to install things from pip. Pip install Pi Auto GUI. I'm already in a virtual environment, so it works for me just fine. We want to figure out where we want to move our mouse to. We can get the current location of our mouse like so. I invoke a Python shell. From there, we import port pyautogui. This will also, if this errors, you've installed it incorrectly. We simply run pyautogui.position, bam. It doesn't work. God, I have spelled position wrong. There we are. <coughs> so you see, my mouse was at this point. If I run it here, my mouse will be here. If I run it in the top left, zero, zero. Okay, so you see that prints the X and Y of my mouse cursor. Now, Let's put that in a loop so we can constantly tell where my mouse is. I'll put it in a simple while loop. All right, there we go. So you see it's updating my mouse cursor whenever I move it. And when I'm not. <laughs> Very cool. So we can use this later to easily determine points that we want to go. You know, we move here, note down that coordinate, move here, note down that one. Let's try and actually move my mouse. So let me just print the current position again. So we use power2go.move2 to, to move, and then you just put in the X and Y coordinates. So we want to put 671, 455. And if I move my mouse over to 00 and press enter, you see my cursor is now here. It has moved. It has done that all by itself. That was a bit too quick for me. You might have not even seen it. So we can actually put in a timer here. In seconds, how long do we want to take our mouse to move from there to there? Three seconds. Remember, my cursor's here. Enter. <laughs> Cool, the mouse move. So we can now figure out the coordinates we want, loop them to create a mouse mover. Here's me doing this earlier. Okay, so I set up the Python loop and I use i3 magic to write down where I want my mouse to be. So I move my mouse to the coordinate I want and then I record it in the other terminal. I then create a Python function to run these in. Try and use a Vim macro, but I end up messing up. So I just type them in. I then try and run the project without first calling the function like a noob, so it doesn't work. But then when I call it, it works, as we can see here. So the next step is to put this uh, function in a loop. Uh, we put in a sleep statement just because. Uh, and now we're done with the script, which we can run. And now we can run this whenever we want to appear busy. Back to the future, the present, the present, back from the past. I have this script here that we just saw. And if I run it, there is actually a built-in failsafe. So if we actually want to stop it without pressing Control c we can, you see my mouse is moving, we can shove it to the top left. You ready? Bam! If I move my mouse into the top left very quickly, there is a failsafe, as you can see here. The failsafe is true. Good, that's good. That's probably the best way to cancel it, right? Smash your mouse to the top left corner. Smash it, smash it to the top left corner like you're smashing the like button on this video. We've now built a simple mouse mover that you can run whenever you want your boss or teacher to think that you're busy at your desk when actually you're not, you're having a nice walk in the woods, lying on the beach and getting some sun or just playing a video game. Watching the latest animes, watching your squid games. Oh, you young whippersnappers and your squid games. This is actually a sponsored video. Shock horror, he's got a sponsor with only 
this many subscribers. How is that possible? Well, I'm my own sponsor. Wow, very cool. Yeah, I've actually gone and turned this tool into a proper project with a GUI. You can check this out if you want, please do. It's mouse-mover.com, as in like a cow, it goes moo. I spent ages getting it to run on Windows and Mac, as well as Linux, Linux of course, but Linux was easy, so I didn't actually get eight, spend ages getting it to run on there. Bloody Mac and Windows were a ball weight. So please check that out if you want. It even has a fancy logo and a fancy name. I know it's like a proper, proper company. You can buy it for five pounds. That's right, for five pounds, you can have your own little mouse mover with a GUI. Yeah, so this video is sponsored. I'll show you what it looks like on Linux. So here it is. It's literally just a tiny little widget uh, and you click move the mouse and your mouse will start moving in a loop. The advantage of this is that it sort of detects your screen size, whereas our script that we've written doesn't. So if you don't have this many, yeah, it won't do it. And look, it's nice. So you just smash it in the top left and it stops. It doesn't print any output. It's brilliant. This link takes you to the mouse mover website and that's all it is, it's exit. It is literally this script wrapped in a very simple Tikinta Python Tikinta Tickle TK GUI thing. Uh, if you're interested in how I actually made that, well, you know how I made it technically, but how you how I like wrapped it to work on Windows and Linux and Mac, how I made the GUI, let me know. I've also been live streaming recently. We're creating a trivia API. Uh, make sure to check that out. Yeah, instead of working, watch my videos and subscribe and like and comment. Favorites, leave a video response if you liked this video. Uh, please check out my web zone. Uh, I, I have a weblog that you can also check out. Please check out my startup, Mouse Mover. Rate this video five stars. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow my channel network. Follow me on, on Dig. Windows 7 is coming out soon, guys. Very excited for that. But as, as I'm a Linux YouTuber, you're not going to get a Windows 7 review. What? Huh? Huh?